Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajaya TV. Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in holy city of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the holy city of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting dealt in two various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. In today's session, one of the attendees raised this following question. Does the existence of differences among humans contradict the justice of the Almighty God? In response to this question, the religious authority stated, Justice does not mean equality. Rather, it requires that in a classroom, each student be graded according to their merit, not that all the students receive equal grades. The differences among individuals are based on divine wisdom. In a sense, injustice is depriving someone of their rightful due, and the creatures of the world have no rights against God regarding the disparities in creation, the quality of created beings, and the ups and downs in life. It is only considered unjust when there is oppression. The esteemed viewers of Marjaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels, and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes simultaneously with these sessions at 11 a.m. Director of Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala meets with His Eminence in Holy Qom, Iran. On Monday, the 29th of Rabiul Awal, 1445, Sheikh Talib Salehi, the director of the Karbala Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, had the honor of meeting with the esteemed religious authority during his visit to the holy city of Qom. During this encounter, he presented a report on the activities of the Karbala Office throughout the year, discussed the conditions of the religious seminaries in Iraq, the academic and missionary efforts of the seminary students, as well as the social and political situation in that country, and benefited from the esteemed Ayatollah's guidance and recommendations. Organizations affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi react to recent tragedies in Afghanistan. In the wake of a devastating terrorist attack on October 13, 2023, targeting Shiite worshippers during Friday prayers in a mosque in northern Afghanistan's Baglan province, where dozens lost their lives and many more were injured, and after more than a week since a catastrophic earthquake struck Herat province, resulting in approximately 3,000 fatalities and over 10,000 injuries, three global organizations affiliated with the esteemed office of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi have jointly issued a statement regarding the recent developments in Afghanistan. This statement, jointly released by Imam Shirazi World Foundation, ISWF, Shia Rice Watch, SRW, and Nonviolence Incorporation, Free Muslim, emphasizes their commitment to humanitarian, religious, and moral values. They call upon religious authorities, international government bodies, civil society, and humanitarian organizations to extend their helping hands and support to the earthquake victims in Herat province by providing immediate and necessary assistance. Furthermore, they vehemently condemn the recent terrorist bombing that targeted Shiite Muslim worshippers in the central Baghlan province of Afghanistan. In conclusion, they express heartfelt sympathy and condolences to the families of the martyrs and victims of the terrorist attack in the mosque of Baghlan and the earthquake in Herat, praying for God's mercy and forgiveness for the martyrs, a swift recovery for the injured, and patience and solace for their families. Hosseini's servants meet with PR officer of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Karbala. In separate meetings, a group of devoted servants of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, had the honor of meeting with Sayyid Arif Nasullah, the director of the PR office of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hosseini Shirazi in the holy city of Karbala. Welcoming the esteemed guests, the PR officer of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi engaged in conversations with them about the blessings intertwined with the legacy of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. In these meetings, Mr. Sayyid Arif Nasullah emphasized that it is through serving Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, that their essence and existence find purpose. Furthermore, in these meetings, the visitors expressed their appreciation for the director's efforts in advocating religious, cultural, and spiritual activities and presented him with the tokens of their gratitude. Literary seminar held at the Najaf Center for Strategic Studies. In its ongoing cultural endeavors, the Najaf Center for Strategic Studies and CSS, one of the institutions affiliated with the religious authority in the holy city of Najaf, organized a literary seminar. 
titled Exploring the Literary Activities of the Hosseini Mardan, the seminar was attended by cultural activists and scholars. Dr. Hassan Khagani, in his address during the seminar, delved into the biography of the Iraqi poet and critic Hossein al-Mardan. He also discussed Hossein Mardan's literary achievements and intellectual, literary, and cultural richness found in his poetry. Weekly Religious Ceremony in Kabbalah by Baraka Cultural Society In the holy city of Kabbalah, the branch of the Al-Khair wal Baraka Cultural Society held another ceremony dedicated to the commemoration of the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them. This ceremony takes place every Wednesday evening in the Ahlul Bayt Husseiniyah, located in the city of Kabbalah. Dozens of believers participate in this event, seeking blessings and intercession through the revered household of the Ahlul Bayt, the infallible and pure ones, peace be upon them. The al Khairwal Baraka Cultural Society is actively involved in these activities, promoting spiritual and cultural enrichment. <laughs>